All right, we are here on episode 13, Migration of Season 5 of Miraculous, a.k.a. Finally, we deal with the Luca in the room. <laughs> All right, so it begins very easily. We just have a... Luca is a real good guy. He's a good guide. I'm shocked that not only he's a musician, he should actually be a life coach. Definitely. Or a counselor. Some of that. So, many people ask him questions of what they should do with his life, with their lives. Marinette with her issues. Adrian with her his issues. Jagged Stone with his issues. And, well, it gets very crazy where it's like, you have the, oh yeah, don't forget that Penny, um, the manager of, not manager, or assistant of Jagged Stone. She loves Jagged Stone. Holy frick. So, then Bob Roth shows up, but I'm like, did you guys try to name him for Bob Roth? Nah, eh, whatever. Anyways, Bob Roth came by and he listened to him, and turns out that the record deal they gave he gave tried to give him the first place was a lie. This record deal is gonna be true because he wants Luca. He wants Luca to play for him because, and somehow the mom did not listen. Luca's mom did not hear him say, "Jagged Stone quit playing music." He kept trying to hang out with family for some reason the mom did not hear that his ex-wife did not hear that for some reason she did not hear that so she believes it gets stupid at the very end where it's like where were you in that whole entire freaking damn thing anyways he signs them they signed a contract he's like give them a chance and lo and behold <laughs> Oh, like I said, he hired Luca and fired everyone else. And everything that they made from beginning to end will be his. That he won't do anything with. What the fuck? So eventually, you have Luca actually showing his disgust on it. And Hawk Shadow Monarch tries to go for it. And then he notices that he's resisting. Extremely resisting. And he's like, fear. Oh my goodness. You know their identities. You know. It's like, oh, fuck. So he was able to break his guitar. Instead of break his actual control of him, he broke the guitar instead. The one that he actually put the Mega Akuma on. So it's like, fuck this. Then I'll just get the freaking record dealer. And the record dealer, the freaking uh, manager. Holy fuck. This is a fun episode. They turn him into like a hot 80s guy with freaking cd like a first st stereotypical um record dealer or heck that might be him when he was young <laughs> and now he's all gold and he's basically just trying to get luca because luca has the stuff monarch needs that's what he wants first he got a girl with freaking disease in her sorry to be a jerk and apparently she loves Julica. How does she love her? Is it lesbian? I hope not. I hope it's really that they're true best friends and that's it. But I'm pretty sure people are going to so look into the lines on this crap. But it's like, I rather try to believe that she's her best friend and they both care for each other like sisters. Would have been cool. They ad lipped it. It's like, I love Julica like a sister. That would have worked so much better to be like, good, instead of me having to figure out what do you mean by that? <sighs> so, got her first, then he got the great, um, Luca's mom, because they can keep dodging in the way so he doesn't get taken. Then Julica got taken, which Julica sounds like a younger version of Christina, not Christina Aguilera. Well, she sounds like Gwen Stefani in the old days. Or Aver Levine, yeah. Or one more person. One more person. Ah, I, I think it was Christina Aguilera. So she sounds like some in that ballpark. So <laughs> he captured a duck because now we have Cat, Ladybug and Cat Noir, which he basically gave a nudge so Adrian might know what's up. He allowed Marinette to go in another place, which. I don't know if she knew what's up, but he made sure that they both were able to come in. 
so the everyone else run with Luca and I guess and then eventually gets to the point of where Cat Noir has to face off with the freaking um gold disco boy <laughs> man <laughs> disco man free to cd this joggy record joggy anyways yeah so he had to chase him around meanwhile luca and ladybug ran then she does of course you know lucky charm turns out she needs him and well he admits what happened he admits it so now he actually said Marinette. And it's like what the fuck? So she now knows, and she knows that he knows Cat Noirs too. And she's like, "How in the world happened? I was so careful." And it's like, yeah, that was all freaking Shadow Moss, freaking damn bullshit. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I I already knew what would happen. Remember Dreamer? If you haven't seen Dreamer, good time to see that one or dream star either way you will just type in marinette and dream and then you'll find the episode where all hell broke loose of where it's like luca now knows so anyways they come up with a plan they use luca as a bait and cat oh my gosh he took a freaking um wall <laughs> but eventually he sees luca's over there rocking out he goes he grabs luca luca was about to reveal everything and just when he was about to start bang his the akumatized object got pushed over there cataclysmed oops <laughs> that was so funny and well <clears throat> all's well where it ends well but monarch is now gonna go after luca no doubt <laughs> no pun intended the record deal guy actually had his contract the contract isn't waterproof and eventually they got destroyed awesome and now luca says he's gonna go all around the world to protect because he can't do anything so he's gonna protect now so he's gonna go with his father and she's like, why in the world is that? I thought I was like, listen, lady, didn't you hear what the record Bob said? He said he cared more about family than doing his music. So what does that tell you, lady? Anyways, they're now going to go around the world, which I'm like, well, that sucks for you, Monarch. Good luck with that. So he's out of the equation. And... I would figure it would be even better if he just joined um, Bonix. If he just joined Bonix, things would be all right. At least Bonix will actually have someone to hang out with. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> that would be a good idea, but oh well, fuck it, no. So instead, yeah, he's all around the world, and that's how it ends. So that loose end has been now fixed. All right. So stay tuned for episode 14.